greetings, guys. I'm your pal, Lil Al, a proud Pittsburgher. Everybody always asks me, hey, Lil Al, what's so great about Pittsburgh? If you've ever visited the city of Pittsburgh, you might have heard some strange words. Words like Jimmy's for sprinkles, hanky for handkerchief, nebby for nosy, sandwiches for sandwiches, hankerin' a need for, buggy for a shopping cart, clicker for the remote control, and wash, which means washed. So where did these words come from? Pittsburghese is the dialect of the city of Pittsburgh in Pennsylvania. Pittsburgh, where the Monongahela and the Allegheny River join. The first people from Europe to live in southwestern Pennsylvania were Scots-Irish between 1717 to 1775. You can trace the word yins back to the very first people who spoke English in this area, the first permanent settlers who spoke English, who were people from Northern Ireland, families sometimes from Scotland, Northern England, and so they spoke the English the way people did where they came from. These immigrants were seen as crude and combative by the established colonists and were only welcomed by Pennsylvania. In the late 1800s and early 1900s, Pittsburgh's population nearly doubled as droves of immigrants flocked to work in the city. The steel mills the, and coal mines in western Pennsylvania they recruited heavily in southern and eastern Europe for workers. Most were non-English speakers and picked up the language loosely through conversations with other immigrants. They put their own particular flavor to it. I mean, you had the Italians and you had the Polish and you had the Czechoslovakians and so all learning English from their own perspective. And so what they ended up with was a very unique language that reflected both their cultural background and also the practicalities of working in an industrial environment. Learning words like slippy instead of slippery, red up for tidy up, crick instead of creek, and yuns or yins for you guys. Everyone in Pittsburgh spoke this way, even the local aristocrats. The dialect gained notoriety when linguists began visiting the area in the 1930s and 40s, reporting that Pittsburghers had developed a unique way of talking. In the 1960s, newspapers began printing words from the dialect. It was during this time when the term Pittsburghese was coined. I like to go downtown and hang out up there or air down there everywhere. Throughout the years up to today, Pittsburghese has been said to be the language of the working class and far from elegant. However, Yins has become a brand, synonymous with the city of Pittsburgh. Many identify with the word positive or negative. Something to be proud of. I mean, it's really a lot of people, you know, are proud to say, I, I talk like a Pittsburgher. And, you know, that means something. It means you have a work ethic. It means you're dedicated to getting the job done. Come on down. I'll show you around. So what do you think? Is it the ugliest accent in America? Get out of here!